Hey everybody, I'm going to post a quick video. It is Tuesday, um, week after spring break here. I guess LOL on that one. Um, we didn't really have a true spring break, but it was a staycation. Um, I got a lot of stuff done around the farm. Um, I, uh, I'm i going to go ahead and show you one of the projects I worked on. I have an old Wilton Vice I picked up at a garage sale or a flea market. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I actually took it apart. I wire wheeled the whole thing. I took the clamps out of it, um, the jaws that is, the actual clamping jaws, finished those up, the, the lockdown uh, dogs. I took some metal polish too and cleaned up the best I could. Um, looked in my big giant cupboard of spray paint, which there wasn't a, let's see here, not a, not a whole lot of options up there. <laughs> but for what colors I did have, I found some hunter green and, um, or actually it's a English green kind of like an english machinery gray and here it is um the video doesn't do it justice it turned out really sharp for an old wilton vice that i just picked up at a garage sale um or maybe the flea market I could have even been out of my grandpa's barn i don't remember um but took it apart we talked about preventive maintenance when we were talking about the lawnmower the other week you know i, I lubed everything up the acne screw on the inside i put grease on um it turned out really nice but just one of the things I did, I mean, in this workbench, it is nothing to brag about. It is pretty darn simple. It's some two by sixes, uh, two by eights, excuse me. It was here when I bought the house. I'm sure it's from, you know, probably the 60s or 70s, but it, it suffices for just a little garage workbench. Um, the bigger stuff I can do elsewhere, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. I think it turned out really sharp. I had some silver spray paint. I cleaned that up. Um, that cut was already there. I did not do that, but yeah. But no, it turned out nice. And Wilton's a great vice. These are wonderful vices, but it shows you. If you buy something, I mean, old stuff, yeah, some old stuff is junk. But as far as machinery goes, a lot of the old stuff was just nice, heavy-duty built cast iron like this Wilton vice. I mean, it's made in the USA, and as long as you take care of it like I did, took care of it. Cleaned it up. It needed to be cleaned up. I cleaned it up. It's going to be this way for another 20 years until I, you know... Either I have to wire wheel it again and paint it or somebody else. But just wanted to share with you um, the vice I cleaned up. Um, we're looking forward to um, advancing with teaching. You'll hear more about that as we you know, put our plan together and get approved by the state. I know I've gotten a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot of, but I've gotten a few emails. Hey, what's going to happen? Uh, we don't really know yet. We're, we're, we've been talking. We've had a meeting. We've done this. We've done that. But it should all come out pretty clean and, um, and be understandable. Um, so we can continue on with the year. I mean, I know we only have about nine weeks of school left, but why not use that time to, you know, learn a little bit more about us? If anything, you're probably going to learn more about me because I got to make, I'm going to probably have to make videos or something of stuff I do around here. So who knows what we'll be learning? It's going to be an adventure for all of us. So stay tuned. I hope everybody is doing well. Stay safe. Cannot stress it enough. Stay home. Stay home, stay home, stay home. I seen a group of teens walking by yesterday, two of them holding hands. Well, that ain't brother and sister. Um, that, that's a couple. You should not be visiting your girlfriends. You should not be visiting your boyfriends. Staying home unless absolutely necessary, meaning medical or I need food or, you know, a pipe burst in my house and I need to repair it. Stuff like that is essential. Everything else is not. So stay home at this time. I mean, I can't stress it enough. Save some lives. Um, and if you don't think that the virus is around us or I'm not going to get it. Um, it is near us. It is, it's around. Um, there's two people down the road from me that are in the hospital because of it. So just be aware of these things. So nobody's immune. Nobody's a superhero. Um, and you don't want it. And no, nobody wants to be sick. Whether you, you know, whether you have mild symptoms or no, nobody wants to be sick. So stay home. Um, I'll get off my bandstand on that and stay safe.